let's say you want to do a font family, right now there is a serif in here, which means it has the little frilly ends on the letters. If we want to make these a sans serif, we could write sans dash serif. Save it and refresh the page. Let's look at these letters now. Pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna zoom back out again. All right, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna work on the unordered list and make this look like real navigation. So that is an unordered list. You wanna write UL with the left squiggly bracket. Press return and we're gonna write list style type. Press return and then write none and save it. Let's refresh our page. The bullets have disappeared. Let's write in margin zero. Save it and refresh the page. Did you see the page go up a little bit? Let's write padding zero. Save it and refresh the page. Did you see how the list went over to the left now? It got rid of that extra padding on the left. Let's write in overflow. Let's write in hidden for that attribute and save it. Refresh the page. That's not gonna show anything. Position relative. So all of these are positioning the UL list. Some of these won't really show you what's happening, but you'll need to have these attributes. Let's write top zero, and you're gonna like this one. Background color, hashtag cadet blue. You can write in a word as a color too. Let's save it and refresh the page. So I'm not really digging that color. Let's just write in blue and save it. There we go. But now it's hard to read the words, but we're gonna fix that, don't worry. Let's write in li for list. We're gonna write float left. Save it, refresh the page. When I did that, now our words are all on one line. Now we're gonna write li space a squiggly brackets. Now this means that we're going to affect the anchor tag on the list. The anchor tag is the H reference. It's the hyperlink. We want to float this left and we want to text align center. Let's refresh the page. Nothing's gonna show yet. You'll see this show after we do the next part. Let's put in some padding, 20 pixels. Save it and now let's refresh this page. Do you see how it put padding around the linked word? CSS is pretty cool, isn't it? All right, let's keep going. Let's put a color of white, save it and refresh the page so we can see those words now. Look at that. Now, since each one of these pages is linked to the CSS style sheet, we can go to each one of the pages and each page has the background color with the navigation already set. Pretty sweet, right? This lesson will continue in the next video.